Welcome back. In about three weeks, if the state education department adopts the recommendations of an advisory panel, all school team names that could even be associated with indigenous people must go. Channel 2's Dave McKinley spoke with a member of that panel about its recommendations today. Dave? You know, Mary Alice, it was more than 20 years ago that the state education commissioner at the time told schools to cease using Native American mascots as soon as practical. In the years since, many did, uh, while also voluntarily retiring team names like Redskins, Indians, and Chiefs. Last year, the state education commissioner upped the ante for other districts which have not. Last year was when schools still holding out were told either change or face possible removal of their elected board members or a loss in state aid. Several schools then applied to keep certain names if there was no imagery or connotation to indigenous people. But a panel comprised of Native Americans to help guide state ed rejected each one of them. A Western New Yorker is on the panel. The idea of, of trying to bury a logo or, or, or an image doesn't mean that those words don't continue to have the same effect. Banning any name that could even be loosely associated with Native people could affect, for example, Jamestown, where the Red Raiders mascot was changed to the Big Red Cat, or the Webster School District near Rochester, which kept the name Warriors, but with a logo depicting a medieval knight. Native people have no claim to Warriors or Raiders, do they? I mean, what? how? No, and, and where, fact, where does fact, it stop? We don't have claims to any of those words. None of those words are ours. The point is that these words have referenced us and they have done it for, for half a century or, or, or more. And even in cases where schools have made the claim that names such as Braves are meant to honor Native people, not disparage them. You're taking our identity and claiming it for yourselves. And that you, and in doing so, you've projected characteristics that may or may not be true about us. And this is the problem that we had, we have as Native people in the manipulation that some of these schools are trying to do to, to keep from changing, really changing. Kane also makes the point that if a school named a team after African Americans or another race, how could you do that without it appearing offensive to some? That you could not, he says, is another reason that schools should avoid names associated with Native Americans entirely. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.